I've been noticing a lot of you have been requesting White Heron by Sherwin Williams. There's also White Heron by Benjamin Moore, but that will be for a later video. Today we're gonna talk all about this color and I'm gonna give you some trim color options to go with it. That way you'll have a nice fun color palette to use in your home for free. This is free color advice. And it's just advice by the way. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt and always be sure to test your colors, okay? Now that I got all that out of the way, let's get into this color quickie episode on white heron. So when you first look at it, yeah, it kind of looks like a white paint color. I guess an off-white to be more specific, a little bit beigey perhaps. What you're getting with White Heron is a 76 LRV paint color. And that means it only reflects 76% of the light that hits it. That is not quite as bright as you might think, especially compared to some of the 90 plus LRV whites that exist. Already right off the bat, this is a light paint color, I would say. Definitely not stark, but still light enough to feel bright and airy in most situations. In terms of undertones, this is sort of a beigey, slightly gray off-white that has a hint of violet happening. I feel like that usually comes from a combination of brown, gray, maybe a bit of red as well. It will be noticeable in some situations, that purple aspect, but in other cases, you may not see it at all. So the only way to know for sure how it's gonna behave in your space test it out. It really does feel like a soft and subtle color that I really do enjoy, not gonna lie. It almost feels like a light version of my made up color category called Grouge. Gray, rougey colors that sort of combine that warmer red brown mixed with gray. But there have been a number of situations where I've used this color and it just works really, really nicely. It's a great alternative to the more yellow leaning beigey colors that have existed or on the opposite side of things, the more greeny colors that are a bit more cooler. I do find white heron to be great on walls primarily, but you could use it as a slightly darker variation of white trim, as long as things were all working together with the wall colors. But speaking of trim colors, I got two woodwork color options if you're painting your baseboards, assuming you have white heron on your walls. And the first one would be white snow. This happens to be a very crisp, bright, simple white that works awesome on baseboards, especially next to White Heron. They both have white in the name, but they're a little bit different in how they're composed. White Snow is quite a bit brighter, which is great for contrast between your baseboards and your walls. It also has no brown or red to speak of. It feels a lot more crisp gray, almost a touch, blue leaning in some cases, but essentially it's just gonna feel like a bright white trim that's gonna really just sparkle. For a slightly darker trim color option, I would probably recommend something like gray area, which is kind of a weird name for a color, but really it's just a darker mid-tone kind of earthy brown gray taupe color. It is going to feel a little bit complimentary because in some cases you could see a touch of green in the undertones, but that's what helps separate it even more from something like white heron. And it also works really nicely with some of the other colors that we're gonna get to right now. So color pairing number one would be one of the most popular colors by Sherwin-Williams. It's called Accessible Beige and it really does what it says it does. Very accessible, versatile color that seems to work with nearly any other color that you throw at it. Probably because it was designed to be so neutral and warm leaning, but still have that gray aspect to soften it. No matter how warm or cool your decor is, it'll fit really nicely. And then paired with White Heron, they're really two peas in a pod. The second color I wanna to present to you is another one of those newer emerald designer edition colors. Just like White Snow, that trim color we talked about. And just like that one, we have another cooler leaning choice in sweater weather. So this to some people just looks kind of like a gray and it is a bit gray, but it seems to have this periwinkle silvery purple quality to it that is cool, but still nuanced, especially next to the pairing of accessible beige, it'll feel that much cooler. So you have a wonderful contrast of both color and depth. And when you pair it next to accessible beige, you have these two colors that are very similar in terms of how light they are, but quite different in their neutral polarities. So accessible beige reads a little more warm and sweater weather is on the cooler side of things. So depending on the room you use it in, I like cooler colors in bathrooms and bedrooms typically, and then warmer colors for those spaces in your home where you wanna feel warm and cozy, like maybe a family room or a living room. But what if you're tired of all these soft, subtle, desaturated colors? Maybe you want a color pairing that has some real life to it. 
Well, I present you with Rose Tan, which is one of the historic colors by Sherwin-Williams. It was their May 2022 color of the month as well. I feel like it's very 2023 because a lot of people are gravitating towards reds, terracottas, oranges. This color technically is part of the orange family, but it's combined with some brown to soften it. So it feels like it has this caramel sort of coloration to it. Although it's loaded with orange, it kind of feels like somewhere between caramel and salmon, which sounds disgusting now that I've said it, but that's what you can kind of expect here. And what's nice about it is even in this picture, you can kind of see how it coexists with those warmer brownie beigey colors in the chairs and then those cooler grays in that backsplash which is sort of what sweater weather gives you but really when you're starting with a color like white heron which is so clean and neutral there's really a lot you can do so this is the color palette that i've built based around it let me know what you think and we have another color palette right over here that you can check out right after you press that like button and that subscribe button really helps us a lot i'll see you in this video